The maximum sentence of eight years, that is how long Charles Heard will spend behind bars for drinking and driving and then killing a 13-year-old. Two News reporter Kelly King has what the victim's family is saying tonight. The family says it's been a day-to-day -day struggle living without their 13-year-old. Tonight, they say they can finally start healing. The prosecutor says he's seen his share of violent crime, but says this is the worst thing he's seen in his job. At the end of the day, we just wanted justice for Tyree. And I think under the law, that's what happened. Tears in a packed courtroom as Tyree King's family waits for some closure in their six-month-long battle. My nephew was an awesome young man. He had, you know, so much potential his whole life ahead of him. A judge sentenced 71-year-old Charles Hurd to eight years in prison. 13-year-old Tyree King was walking in a yard on Springfield Xenia Road this summer when Hurd's pickup slammed into him, trapping him underneath. Heard was drunk and his blood alcohol content level was more than twice the legal limit. This is the worst nightmare a parent can have. Not only did they lose their child, not only did they, they lose it in a manner that robbed them of the opportunity to say goodbye or, or to, to you know, give any last thoughts, they rushed out of their door and knelt over their son as he was dying. While Heard told the judge he hopes Tyree's family can forgive him, prosecutors say he deserves all eight years. I don't think that he's been remorseful. He's obviously remorseful that he's going to prison. While the sentencing brings the family some healing, they have a message for others. Do not drink and drive. And before you get in that car, think about not only your life, but the life that you could possibly be taking. While Heard received the maximum sentence, the family is hoping this case will bring changes to the sentencing for drunk drivers with more time spent behind bars. Kelly King, 2 News, working for you.